a microphone check. A microphone check. Welcome in, everybody. This is your host, Ben <laughs> and... Righty! That's right. Welcome to the Journals of Awakenings podcast. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally just pressed record. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my ski butts while entertaining the people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, my bong is pink. So, cool who was, who, have you ever gotten somebody high for the first time? Or gotten Ooh. somebody into weed? Uh, that's hard to say. Probably, but not iconically. No, why? Well, because of that person who I'm not going to blast because it's a podcast. That I got into taking edibles. Like, that was all me from the get, you know? Right. Are you proud of yourself? Very, very proud. Yeah, well... And I will say that that person, particularly being on the edge of like woke, you know, should take more edibles. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just going to be crazy because he's got all the self awareness, you know, he's he's got the tools. Yeah. So Talking about marijuana edibles, just so everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be definitely be really cool. Uh, both of them, I mean, they both really have the potential to just. Think outside the box. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, boy. And I think that's pretty sweet. So, what's new and exciting with your life? Today, you had an art walk. Yeah. So, working at an art store must have been intense. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. It was It was just a lot of this, that, and this, and Artsy that. Artsy fartsies. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, we sold a lot of merchandise. and Merchandise. It, it was extremely overwhelming extreme my bosses and i have this bet about how much we'll make from the weekend and i guessed extremely high and i didn't Did you? mean to <laughs> i didn't take the time to calculate it i just picked come a number. on you I know a good a day a good day for a small town store is about what 2500 that's a good day no that's a record breaking day oh every time we hit those numbers it's record breaking for sure oh okay so anyway yeah Either what way, would you guess? Three business. days. Three much, days worth yeah. of income in a small town artsy fartsy store. Yeah. During an art walk festival. Having no idea of what the store makes generally. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm gonna say five grand. Five. Yeah. Fifty-two hundred. Hold me to fifty-two. Okay, that's cute. We'll probably hit that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Thanks. Sorry, baby. Oh, it must be nice to be able to eat Lucky Charms out of a fucking bowl and not your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing. I hate Lucky Charms. They got too many dyes. If we were to have a child ever again, <clears throat> what do you think... My guitar didn't like that. What would you do differently when they were a baby? What would I do differently when they were a baby? With Con, because obviously... I wouldn't know. shake them. <laughs> right? I wouldn't jump with them on a trampoline. <laughs> yes, yes, right? Okay. There you go, yeah. That's realistically, that's realistically, yes. I wouldn't let them on a trampoline. With anyone else. Enough, yes. And that includes um, myself. I'd be a lot more loving, a lot more caring. It's just crazy to think that you were working overnights until... I would have took the fucking week off, best believe. Right? Yeah. yeah best believe, without a fucking doubt. Yeah, I would have said, fuck this job, and I'd have left. And I kind of wish you would have, just because nope. staying the night I by wasn't myself that man. after having a baby was no. really hard. I was a working man, and I had a family to take care of. And work is important did, when you did, have family. <laughs> yeah, but we did get to use the work car. That was important. Oh, man. You know what? Shout out to Dictograph Security. Yeah. Dictograph Security. No joke, guys. They were cool. For sure. They were not a bad job. I, just, I definitely used them more than I should have, but they helped me out a lot. I was in a bad spot. Yeah, you definitely were in a bad spot. But hey, but that's life, right? It's just crazy. Um, yeah, our car just didn't run at the time. I just feel like... Or no, we had the van and it had no AC. Yeah. It was black one. and it was hot. Oh, man, that van sucked. It was sucked. August. That van it was sucked, bro. Hot, hot. <laughs> that's why I was so happy to take the newborn home in the work car. <coughs> oh, yeah, blast the AC, use mm -hmm. the work gas car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were nice about it, man. Well, that's why you ended up getting fired. <coughs> well, they didn't, not formally. They were about to fire you. They were gonna, yeah. It was just because I had abused. I understood. Yeah. Other people are doing it. <laughs> but then I moved on to be a, a supervisor at Central Alarm. Overnight? <laughs> like, everything was overnight. You yeah. know, and I just, 
it just blows my mind because I feel like we do everything right now as parents and that we've done everything right for, well, since you started staying home, honestly. But even before that, I was totally happy being a stay-at-home mom while you worked. Yeah. And so that worked out really well. But... You I, just got the perfect job, huh? Oh, yeah. I would stay. I wish I had your job, you know. <laughs> it might be a little different story. Congratulations, by the way. You passed your one-year mark. Yeah, thank you. You did that. I think you said that already. I know, probably. But it's really but whatever. Cool still. <laughs> it's still relevant. Well, I've told I you, did one year at ALS, and I was super proud of myself. Oh, so. yeah, you know because I mean? I've never been on a job this long. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's holy shit. still enjoy it. Exactly. Even it, you even still don't ALS, mind going to work? Like, like that's pretty cool. Yeah, I still don't mind. Well, going. my job is a lot of drama. I don't know if we'd have a baby before I stopped working here, but if we didn't, you know, my job's cool enough to the people that I could take a baby to work. You know, that's and, true too. Yeah, <laughs> like very. You simply, would never need to, but yeah. Very simply, but it's just so weird to think of how far we've come. Even though we're racing Connor right now, there's so many things I'd do differently when he was a baby. You know. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 100%. He had a lot of skin problems. I'd spend more time. I'd also... I'd listen to doctors less. Yeah, that's important. Right? Yeah. Like them wake ladies. Crazy asses. <laughs> they <clears> do <throat> what they are... What I they know think what is the right. government taught them to yep. do. I know. That's the problem with America. <clears throat> <laughs> no, I didn't say America had a problem. You did. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm grateful for the people we are now, too. You know, and... We're good people. It's crazy that we have neighbors that we can see through our windows, but it's whatever. It is. I literally know my neighbor can look at me at any time they want because my windows are always open, it's, clean. Yeah. Our landlord but it's okay. goes in our house. <laughs> it's legit. My landlord knows I smoke pot. It's not yeah. a big deal, you know? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Not a big just, deal, yeah. Obviously, I smoke some Like, pot. look at all this blood wraps on the wall. Like, how do you not <laughs> notice <laughs> that? <laughs> Like 30 packs. Yeah. You have to be really ignorant to not notice that. No, he knew. He knew. He's just chill. You know? It yeah. doesn't matter. Well, what I've learned is that everyone smokes pot. Cops, <laughs> Literally. Cops, doctors, everybody smokes pot, you know? And I, yeah, I just find it Cheers. amazing that we are living the life that we are living. I'm grateful we're able to give it to the children that we're able to give it to when we're able to give it to them. I agree with all those give-its. Yeah. <laughs> Each and every one of them. Sounds like a side at Thanksgiving. Did you have your give-its? <laughs> Did you guys eat your give-its? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I soaked them in gravy and I ate them give-its. Oh, that's so funny. Doesn't that sound like Thanksgiving Yeah. Food? <laughs> Sounds like something to the Mayflower ship crewmen ate. Oh, I had Thanksgiving. <laughs> I went to my mom's. It was really cool. We put up her Christmas tree, and she's had that tree for like seven years, and it's never been out of the box. And it's twice as tall as both of them, so. Yeah. That's a little much. <laughs> Not twice, but yeah, it's. Um, it's a Griswold's tree. It's a Martha Stewart tree, and it's beautiful, and it just reminds me that I love Christmas time. Like, it's so I love the winter time. I love the holiday season. Yep, that's the right word. Well, we should do a special where we just sing Christmas the songs. Holiday season. <coughs> do you and decorate and don't forget to. I don't know that song. Yeah, they do. Because <coughs> just exactly at 12 o'clock, he'll be coming down the chimney down. Can't picture it. I'm sorry your childhood was trash. Yeah, I know. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had no fucking friends. Okay, <laughs> something like that. Do you feel like you were deprived you of... You don't want to hear my version of Old MacDonald. No. Do you feel like you were deprived of holiday spirit when you were a child? Um, I was lied to. I mean, they definitely told me there was a Santa Claus That's, and stuff. No, no. <laughs> I know, I'm just playing. Having a Santa Claus uh, is beautiful magic for a child. Yeah. However, maybe. we can find magic in other ways as well. I was going to say, it is magic, but it's also got to be known that it's a fictional character. But, no, yeah, but I feel like we haven't put the magic back into Christmas since we started, like, trying to figure out what we actually believe in. Well, I mean, I decorated. I don't know what else to do. No, I know. I just uh, remember when we made snowflakes out of hangers. 
Yes. <laughs> Those were huge. We bought so many hangers for that. I know, I but it was magical, right? Doing it yeah. together, hanging Core them memory, on the wall. For sure. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I. Uh, we decorated clothes hangers. <laughs> it looked that, great, though. It looked that great. was magical to me. That's cool. Well, and this year, oh yeah, yeah, and we used to we one year we built gingerbread house. Yeah, exactly. I know we did that once or twice. So I just uh, we'll, we'll make it special this year. Yeah, I guess it's not over. I keep feeling like we missed out already. Yeah, no, we'll miss. We'll miss. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right this year. Yeah. So I just uh, you heard it right here, people. Our uh, winter solstice is going to be amazing. I want a green tree. She keeps saying Christmas, and I just don't like it. I know. I want a green tree, and I wish it could go in a window, but, you know, it's a like... A green tree? That's yeah. what's outside. Everywhere. Except for the ones that all the leaves fell off of. <laughs> Are you breathing heavy? <laughs> yes. Wow. I want a beautiful green tree with lights on it, and I want it to sit in our window. Do you want to kill a tree, or do you want to get a fake tree? I want a fake tree. Okay. I and mean, I'm sure that kills trees, too, but who who, know, who knows where plastic comes from? Right, yeah. but it would be, like, what window could it work in if we tried to make it work in a window? This one right here. <laughs> right here in the office, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's hilarious. You wake up to that tree. Woo! <laughs> No. Oh. I don't whatever. know. Um, yeah, that's crazy talk. Nobody can picture that. I Absolutely know, no I one know. can picture the inside of our house right now. <laughs> 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 no one can picture it. Okay, that's totally fair. Give you guys a layout. It's that's bedroom, bathroom, laundry room, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. Boom. Best three bed, two baths. You heard Baby, right here, yeah. folks. <laughs> That's six zeros, bitches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, the holidays have always been we a got special a great time. Price. <laughs> uh, but I think for poor Ben, he didn't get the experience I got. Po folk. Yeah. Except for Halloween, his mom's a fucking. Yeah, she loves, mom Halloween. loves Halloween. She goes. Yeah. She goes all out on. That's Halloween. true. That's true. Except for this year, obviously, since we didn't see Halloween. It. And you know what? Easter was decent growing up. There was always Easter? Yeah, there was always a... It was never a religious thing. It was always a finding eggs, going to the park, having a cookout, like a barbecue. You know? Um, Easter was always kind of a thing. We got a big basket. We always oh, got yeah, the big chocolate that's bunny. Cool. That was cool. I remember the big hollow chocolate bunnies. Okay, so you had an Easter. I had sure. an Easter, yep. It was so random. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. President's Day... Went to Mount Rushmore every day. Every, no, every year Mount Rushmore. Ben's kidding. He's never seen Mount Rushmore. I have no idea what that is or where it's at. I think it's in I think Japan, it's in like, like North Dakota. No, it's in Egypt. Stop it. It's not. Shush. All right. No, our American presidents are not in Egypt. You dumbass. <laughs> no, there are American presidents in Mount Rushmore. I'm just kidding, but. I'm just Somehow kidding. I, okay, well, yeah, Ben's not doing this. He's just playing. I'm going down a rabbit hole just to make her think I'm dumb. Yeah, and it was almost working. It almost works every time. But, um... She almost thinks I'm dumb. Almost <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Blah, 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 blah. I forgot what we were talking about. I forgot what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Yeah, I forgot. I'm, I'm really bad at that game. <laughs> What are we talking about? Oh, bro, that game. I lost. I give up. Can I quit? <laughs> I Can I quit? I don't want to play. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, Easter is a, celebra a celebration of the fertility god. It's a fertility ho uh, holiday. Is that the deep uh, Roman pagan belief? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's where all the bunnies and shit came from. Oh, there yeah. is a direct relation with the bunnies? Fertility. Bunnies, they breed. Oh, they're breeders. Yeah. That makes sense. They are. They're heavy breeders. But yeah, rabbits and eggs. <laughs> it's all about fertility. Interesting. Yeah. That's the when fertile. you have a baby. What would that make? Let's see. Late April, baby. That would make May, a, June, July, makes a August, rabbit September, either way, right? October, November, December, January. <gasps> that makes it Capricorn. <laughs> you were an Easter baby. I was. You were conceived in Easter time. Oh, my parents loved Easter. <laughs> oh my God, how funny. The they celebration of fertility. It was, yeah, it was like family bonding time. So my mom and dad were fucking on Easter. That's what happened. Yeah. Ah, uh, y'all were fucking on Easter. Yeah. And that's where Capricorn here See, came yeah, from. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations, folks. <laughs> 
You want a Capricorn? You fuck on Easter. There you go. Something like that. It's I don't accurate. know. It's accurate. I like having a Leo. It's fun. We have two Leos. Yeah, I was like, we have two. We have three fire sign children. Oh my goodness, I know. Obviously, that's a lesson. That's why Earth here <laughs> keeps everybody in line. And I'm water. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, it's okay, really. Earth is fine. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> and I'm like, stay still-ish. We're all Yeah, happy. fire is <laughs> stay still. It's crazy because the next child we have will probably be a fire sign as well because obviously Ben and I have some lesson to learn together. And she seems to think there's a next child coming. I'm sorry. The next cat we have. She keeps manifesting is what she's no, doing. No, yeah. I... I remember. No, we don't need another cat. We agreed on it. See? <laughs> See? Mm-mm. <laughs> So, anyway. and, and it's arguable. Anybody in, in our audience is going to argue this. By the way, don't forget everybody to go to YouTube and subscribe. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you can argue this is we should probably have another kid because we only have one together and I have two with my ex-wife. Blah, 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 blah. You only give her no. one kid. I know. You don't want I another kid. I hear it. I hear it, though. And I'm like. I don't want to if I ever get pregnant. <laughs> but, I, but I hear y'all. Well, I'm just saying, man. I. <laughs> it's my journey. <laughs> no, I know. It's your journey too, though. That's the thing. We could adopt. I don't want to. I know, because the government like, would never let us. And that comes with a lot of trauma. That's true too. Yeah. No, I obviously would love to have another child, and I don't think it would be a bad thing. I just, I, I don't want to be pregnant. It, no, I know. Oh, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> uh, and I don't think it would be a bad thing. I genuinely don't think that it would cause me any regret or pain or any negative. I think those are all just fears. There'd definitely be some pain. <laughs> <laughs> but. Spoke too soon. I ain't trying to have Ooh. Ben over here resent me for being connected. I could never four, resent you. To four children. I would adjust and adapt just like I always do. Yeah. We have five cats. Mm-hmm. Uh, that wasn't even an adjustment. People are crazy, you know? Yeah, well, one of them basically lives outside, and she's been with me for fucking 17 years or whatever. Yeah, but she did just whatever, started so. basically living outside. No, I know, but she's been with me for so long that it's it's so second imagine, nature to take care of her, it's whatever. Yeah, imagine before Bravo. <laughs> yeah. If she was basically living outside, taking in Bravo would have been a lot easier of a decision because we would have been like, well, basically, there's one cat always outside, you know? Right, and three inside. Yeah, yeah. but now it's just like, well, we've hit our... Maximum, maximum. And then the old one decides, I live outside now. <laughs> she does, <laughs> she's, yeah. She's so independent, though, dude. Yeah. She has capacity, but... She, she eats grasshoppers. She's the best. She's losing yeah. weight in a good way. Yes. She's being happy, rolling around. It's great. It's Shout really out to good. Iggy. Y'all oh, seen yeah. Y'all see my shorts on YouTube. Iggy's the best. <laughs> and we're never moving to this place. We're never taking her away from this place. No, so we'll she's got like her. the best little eighth of an acre or whatever it is. God, the whole family does, you know? It's Isn't so nice. Crazy? Yeah. We're blessed. We are blessed. We are. We're very lucky people. Not lucky, but, you know, we everything falls into place. We're, we're fortunate enough to uh, guide our life in the right direction, and now we are really happy. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I just, literally content. You know, like, literally, I'm good. I know. Like, I mean, I could use little, some shit, but Yeah, I'm, I'm a little better than good right now, but also there's a balance to that. So, I definitely... Yes, there's the emotional end of the things. I'm talking, really, I'm talking financially. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We're good. So, yeah, we're good. Super content. Like, everything's fine. Emotionally, that's a, a Emotional, battle. Yeah, emotionally, is there's so many different... It's so complicated. It's such a complicated thing of feelings, right? Yeah, and to make an entire podcast, it would take an entire podcast to explain why How it's complicated. How complicated <laughs> yeah. are. It would that would be because it isn't episode. just like I'm sad all the time because the kids aren't here, or like I'm happy no. that we're stable. It's like a whole whirlwind. It's of a whole. They were kidnapped, and I can't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's how I feel. But it's also like we know they're like kind of safe, you know. Like, kind of. Yeah. It's kind of is the exact word, and that's terrifying for me because around me you're one thousand percent safe. Around you, they're too safe. Too that's safe. the thing. Yeah, you don't so, even get no exposure. <laughs> so over there, they get to go play with kids in the right. Meet some strangers, get in some trouble. I get it. Yeah, but, uh, and over here, they're then's kind of a helicopter parent. So. I am. Yeah, dad is overprotective, hundred percent, and that's why I don't have a daughter because I. <laughs> You know, way too overprotective. I know. Having a daughter would be terrifying. Chastity you know belt. 
You, no, it's not about. It's no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Sex is important. I'm kidding. No, I'm just saying. I'm I don't just saying that every woman I've ever known, and this is a very, this is a trigger warning. Skip ahead. Every woman that you'll ever meet has been taken advantage of in some way or another. And that's terrifying. And to it, have a girl knowing that is scary. Makes me really sad to know that. Because when you told me that, because I never, I guess I never had anybody never be that real. thought about it. Real, no, I've never had anybody be that real with me. Oh. Where they mm -hmm. tell me they had something happen or it's common that things happen. You know, my friend did this, your friend, you know what I mean? <coughs> so it just kind of blows my mind, but I believe it. Well, then you started thinking about it. Mm-hmm. And you were like, oh, wow. Even this person it's, Yeah, it's has. not like a me too thing. It's just more like people literally just get the courage because somebody else did. That's not yeah, a me too thing. Yeah, and that's why, yeah, I hate, that's why I hate, like, and I'm glad you understand that now. Yeah. People made fun of the me too be, for people that were too afraid to see I, the I was truth. one of them. Yeah, yeah I was one exactly. of them. I'm like, yeah, whatever, yeah, you got touched by Cosby, I bet. All yeah, 50 of exactly. you women, get out of here, you know, but. I believe it now. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and like uh, the Me Too wagon was legit, and every woman yeah, should have been on it. Because that was that a was way to brush it off, and it shouldn't. Exactly, have. that's exactly how it was. Brushing it off by making fun of the women, and I can't stand people that really are that dense to think that women don't go through it. And it's yeah. just something that's been happening for ages and, and ages. And I'm sure that plenty of boys out there do, but not nearly as many because I hung out with boys my whole life <laughs> and I never heard stories like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And but it's, it's you know, really scary. That, it is that's terrifying. the world we're living in. And so the idea of having a daughter... Break the cycles, men. The, yeah, and that's why we get boys. We don't get be sexist. Boys out yep, there, huh? Yeah, exactly. My, my three boys, they're going to be gentlemen. Legit gentlemen. Yep. I'm really proud to have boys. I think having a daughter would be absolutely terrifying. And although, it would probably be the most blessed thing in the world. It would... Probably straighten us out. Eh? Probably would. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty good, but you know. Yeah, no, it would really give some balance to the household. I'm a girl, you know? Right, right, It's right. like, yeah. Exactly, some balance. There you go. Like, the toilet seat would be down more often. You see, see and there's that. But then there's also, like... You play video games, and that's totally cool. But I would love to have, like, somebody that wants to dye their hair colors. Or maybe, you know what, but that's probably not a girl thing. No, because I just, could dye my hair color. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not really with it. Maybe it's an emotional thing. I should thing. dye my hair color, really, though. Like, girls are just more nurturing and... But, you know, I don't know. I guess not. Did you say anal? See, there's definitely, like, a difference between boys and girls, right? Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, when does that difference hit? Because everything that I'm saying, Connor already has those qualities. He's a very sensitive boy. He's very gentle. But at some point, it changes, obviously, you know? I don't think that's true. You don't think so? No, I really think that's a cycle-breaking thing. Really? Yes, because how? How could that boy, how could he grow up, him, with specifically him yeah. with only us as parents how could he possibly grow up anything less than a sweetheart like what he is right now yeah like how's that possible is that possible i mean i guess they could meet the wrong friend or maybe fall in love with a girl that's like really broken you know what i mean yeah. like you never know because you know you never know that's you never thing. know so, so you start with that but i'm talking about the difference between having a boy and having a girl you know <laughs> Although it would make more balance and there'd be another girl in the house, Ugh. how is that any different than having... Well, because it's not. It's not, right? It's not. No. You could argue a few different reasons, but it would just be sexist. Yeah, because I'm... Exa and, and that's and what it, I'm saying. Yeah, everything boils Connor's down to that Connor's obviously a mommy's uh, boy, like, mm -hmm. but he's now he's like both, right? Because Who? He, Connor. Because he um, sees this all the time and it's just... Uh, there's not really a preference anymore. But when he was younger, yeah, okay. he's definitely a mom. But girls are daddy's girls. Just naturally. We, Okay, so with Connor, I want everybody to know. Maybe. I don't know. I've never had a girl. But with Connor, I have a very low tone energy. What, what you guys yeah. see on my lives is not how I am all day. Ben is like... Um, that is that's me coming at you guys with some energy. 
<laughs> Come on. No, I'm not. <laughs> just kidding. Just That's kidding. me coming at you guys with energy, though, for real. And uh, all day, you know, I, I just cook and clean. I do normal Connor's shit. Connor's very independent. And he does his own shit. Yeah, He's Connor gotta doesn't. Get off the TV, Connor though, doesn't man. bother me. You know. I wish he would just like log off and go into his room and play with toys. Just or play. Something. Yeah, it happens sometimes. He goes through his waves, Not but it's cold right now, so it's kind of like uncomfortable to do anything. Well, we should put his toys in a more obvious space, <laughs> like anyway, the living room. But yeah, in front of the TV. It's just, <laughs> it's also fascinating the world between boys and girls. Like, does it even exist for the real? The pink and blue guys. Is gender is that a thing? Actually, like fluid. You Go know? ahead and argue it. Yeah, argue it. Tell me what women can't do that men can, and you know, vice versa, vice versa. You know what exactly. I mean? Tell me. What name one thing? I I can't. Exactly. Like the, you know, I was talking about earlier so and so. If I told so and so this, they would just say, Oh well the Vikings oh, yeah. they did the hunting, you know, the men, blah 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 and it's like actually not true. They yeah. just they just figured out, they started digging up bones, the women were the hunters. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's they were the hunters. The original hunters were women, as far as we know as humans. That's true as well, and I just think that I think anybody can be whoever they want to be, period. Exactly. And it's all about breaking cycles. Like, I want to put good children into the world to change the world. I think yes. the world deserves to have our children, you know? Like, yes. It's, like, good for us for doing that. And I don't yes. know. I feel so confident. You know, if you can't wake yourself up, you just can't get over your old-time ways, Try breaking cycles to your kids. You know? Yeah, we're we're making strides. Try help the just, world. Yeah, if you can't fix I, your life, fix someone else's. Yeah. You know that make me feel good about existing. You know what I mean? At least I was able to help some, yeah. in some way. So that's a main. I guess that's a main argument about why I'd like to have another child one day is because I feel like the world deserves to have another one of our children. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just how it feels. Make a little army of them. <laughs> yeah. Start a revolution. <laughs> In a way, you know, it all starts with ripples. It starts with the ripple a small thing. change. Yeah, and you know, Connor's going out into this world and bong ripple. He's t- he's telling people. I was building something in Minecraft, and he told me, and he's four, <coughs> and he told me, Mom, I'm focusing on this right now. Like he was really. He's really good at setting boundaries, expressing yes. his feelings, being real with people. Well, we preach it. Yeah, and so I just think, I don't know, I think the world deserves to have that, and that's really cool of us. Go us. We're Go cool. us, yeah, pat on our backs, yeah. Um, yeah, from Umbridge. <laughs> yeah. Are you calling it? Huh? Are you calling it? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah? It's been a good conversation. I appreciate everybody for showing up. Thank you guys for listening in. Stay in tuned. Yeah, you... In about a month, it's going to be a little bit, because... Spotify's weird, but we're going to be allowed to accept donations. So anybody wants to Mr. help a brother Beast. out. <laughs> yeah, especially <laughs> Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, peace. Peace out, home dogs. <laughs>